Everybody thinks that college recruiting is coach driven or club driven or college coach or recruiter driven. Unfortunately for you, that's not the case. And I had to learn that the hard way because I thought all the colleges that I wanted to go to or I had interest in would just come chasing after me. And they go chasing after the 0.01% of players. The ones that I really feel like will make a huge impact into their program. So if you're not a 0.01% player, the entire college recruiting process, you guessed it, is player driven. It's on you. It's not on your mom. It's not on your dad. It's on the player. If the mom, or I should say, if your mom or dad takes charge of college recruiting, you're going to only screw yourself. Because do you think college coaches want to talk to mom and dad? Or do they want to talk to the player that they're going to deal with for four years? And that's a key concept you need to understand. Because here's the truth. One college is going to look at a minimum of 10,000 potential student athletes in one given year. So can you imagine the amount of people they're going to be looking at? It's crazy. And what you don't realize is they're going to pick two, three, maybe four. If you're really lucky, they're going to need a big recruiting class. But on average, it's maximum of four players. So if you don't fit that and you're not a standout for them, then do you think you're going to be recruited? Because a good friend of mine coaches at the NAIA level, and he receives on average 40 emails a day, 40 emails a day, and they're going to delete 38 or 39 of them every single time. So how are you going to stand out? And that's what you don't realize is this whole thing is about standing out. The system's designed to fail you. That's where this playbook comes into play to help you put the path in place to maybe get success or at least increase your chance of getting success. Because everybody has this goal of saying, I want to go college, for example, big time D1. But you don't even understand the ramifications of what you're doing and how that affects your long-term play. So you need to keep that in the back of your mind because they're evaluating thousands of players every single year. In fact, I'll tell you this. My college coach back then had a whiteboard of his top recruits up to four years in advance. So I was there from 2011 to 2015. So he had a whiteboard with 2012, his top four or whatever number, 2013, his top four, 2014, his top four, and 2015, his top four recruits that he already had playing four years in advance. And that was an NCAA Division II level. So can you even imagine a top Division I program? The amount of kids and players they're going to be looking at? Like there's a big time Division I school 45 minutes from my house. Okay. And the entire starting 11 is international. What chance do you think you have to compete with guys that have played, for example, on B teams of professional clubs? You really need to think about this and understand that the college recruiting process is player driven. You have to take ownership.